always had a passion for music. You know what it was? I used to just be rapping when I was probably about 10, 9. I was always rapping in studios. You know, this is my mom's was alive, so I was always doing it. Then when she passed away when I was 13, I still had passion and love for music. So I used to always do it while I was going through certain things in the streets. Music was always a part of my agenda. Like, for instance, when they said I had allegedly shot somebody for um, some things that happened in the hood, you know, because it was a lady of mine at the time. This was my boo. You know, I was young, you know, puppy love, whatever the case may be. 16, 17, this is my lady. Everybody in the projects know this is my lady. You know, this is my boo. And I guess, you know, somebody I allegedly had problems with knocked her out. I go, yeah, word, murder your man, tell him this. She came to the crib with that eye jammy. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> Damn! So whatever, they try to say allegedly that I ran into him and shot him. <laughs> allegedly, they try to say I ran into the nigga and shot him and shit. And allegedly, I, I, I was on the run for this. Now, you know, I had the police looking for me for this shit. I was still fucking around with the music. I wound up going to um, Queens, you know, because I was in Brooklyn. I wound up going to Queens, had some family out there. And it was my uncle, and he had um, a studio in his basement because he was in the music office, and that's where we used to record. So I was still recording. I had a group at this time, me and two of my other friends. So as I was on a run, I was just living over there, giving them a little money for rent, and we was just pursuing the music over there, even though I'm on the run. So I'm just over there still making music. Now I'm making more music because I ain't got no choice but to be right here in the studio. I, this is where I'm on the low at right now. You know what I'm saying? Then I heard the locks on the radio with Flex. They was on the radio with Funk Master Flex. And I'm just like, damn. I'm telling niggas like, yo, man, them niggas talking mad street shit, man. I'm on the run. I ain't got to say the Lord. I'm like, man, they talking hella street shit. The locks, man. I hear all them D up there talking crazy. As you know, D and Y, the brothers who run Rough Riders. They up there talking crazy, popping mad shit with Flex. I'm like, yo, man, let's go see them niggas, man. <laughs> They gotta respect the shit I'm talking about. Like, man, I'm just, they gotta fuck with me, nigga. Let's go see these dudes. So, uncle, like, you serious? I'm like, hell yeah, I'm You're serious, man. I'm still on the run at this now, time. I you know that's crazy. Now, I know. My uncle, okay. like, yo, you serious? I'm like, hell yeah, I'm serious, man. Fuck, let's go see these niggas. He like, all right, cool. So we drive up there, boom. <laughs> so we waiting for them to come out of Hot 97 in the front there, just waiting for them. So now I see them coming now. I see Kiss. Kiss was on crutches at the time, style shit. And I see DNY. So I'm just I'm like, yo, what's up, yo? I'm like, yo, man, my name, um, you know, my name El Murder. You know, I'm from Brooklyn. I rap. I get busy for real. And this ain't no, 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 no faggy shit. You know what I'm saying? I just want niggas to hear me, man. So D was like, oh, all right, damn, all right. Like the way I was told you, like, all right, I hear that. I hear that. Like, hey, let me hear something. So I spit some shit. Going there, I'm just talking mad shit. I'm just dead nigga grabbing on my gun, letting niggas. I'm like, I ain't playing, man. Like, I'm for real, man. I'm spitting shit, but they really feeling the shit I'm talking about. They can see, like, this nigga rapping his life. Like, he, he yeah, they see he rapping some shit. D, like, yo, what's up, man? Who you with? I'm like, yo, it's me and my uncle right now. I'm like, yeah, he's like, yo, come on, get in the truck with us. Say, your uncle to follow us. You know what? But actually, before I got in the truck with him, I said, yo, D, I need to kick it with you right quick, though. Cause I seen, like, I know he was the one that run rough ride. I said, yo, D, I need to talk to you. He like, yo, what's up? I'm like, yo, I'm on the run, man. He like, what happened? I'm like, they trying to say I shot somebody, man. He said, oh, man. I'm like, yo, I don't think he gonna snitch and go all the way with it cause he shoot niggas. But I think he just thought he was gonna die at the moment. So he was just like, yo, he shot me. I said, but he all right now cause he's shooting people in the hood. So when I get caught, I don't think he gonna come to court and then that shit and go all the way with it. D said, yo, you serious? I said, hell yeah. He said, yo, I'm fucking with you, man. <laughs> I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. So when I got out the truck, he like, yo, yo, this is my brother, why? He like, yo, this is my brother, why? I'm like, guy, right, said, yo, man, this nigga El Murdo, yo, he rap, man. He said, but yo, he ain't even care about me. He said, but yo, tell him the situation, though. <laughs> so I told him why the situation is. He like, yo, you don't really think the nigga gonna rap? I said, trust me, he not coming to court. He's not ratting. But I was like, guy, right, cool. I said, Nate allegedly trying to say I shot him in here. Remember that. You know what I'm saying? But then that's how my whole Rough Rider ever started with them.